third stanza. Silent night, holy night, wondrous star, let thy light with the angels let us sing. children to Sunday school. It's all about Christian education and certainly as the children share the Christmas story, the story that never grows old, we welcome them and may God bless them and may his Holy Spirit move through them to bless each one of us today. Faith? So our, our youth are headed up by Hilary Toykuk, who's here to my left, as well as uh, Tanya Kernak, uh, the one in pink over there. And we're certainly gifted with uh, adults that contribute to Christian education within our church family. God bless them. In those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were complete for her to be delivered. 
And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and, lied, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God. Do not be afraid, for I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be unto all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swatted cloth, laying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, So it was, when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told to them by the shepherds. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. The star they had seen, they had in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. We need three They saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then, being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they, de they departed for their own country another way. Thank you. 
We're going to have to give them another hand. That, that was wonderful. They didn't have a whole lot of time to practice, but I felt they did such a wonderful job. We could turn the lights on back there. And just in case you didn't see little baby Jesus, he was in the crib. <laughs> I could see him in there. Thanks to the Raya Pals who brought the, the little child all the way from Wasilla. And they're here today. Thank you, Hillary. At this time, I would like to invite you to turn to the Word of God, and uh, we're going to have read, um, in order to uh, save a bit of time here, is to uh, share the reading from Luke. I would like to encourage you to read the other uh, selections in your own time. But for today, Luke chapter 1. Please keep this particular reference in mind because uh, I will be sharing uh, a message from Luke chapter 1, verse 26 through 38. Let us hear the word of God for today, taken from our Moravian text. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what ma manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also that Holy One, who is to be born, will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative has also conceived a child in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her, who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold the maid, servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. May God bless the reading of his holy word to our hearts and uh, minds today. Wow, children, again, a good job. Wise men, you look great. Angels, you look really, really good up here too. And the Christmas story has come alive once again. God indeed sent his son into the world and there's a reason for that, and that is to save us from our sins and to give us the hope of eternal life. And this is through, through our faith in Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who was ascended and will come back again in, in like manner. Special welcome to all of our guests, those of you from out of town, all of you. Big blessing upon you. Uh, anyone else, uh, if this is your first time here, I trust that God will meet your needs as you continue to worship the, the Prince of Peace.
couple of calls this morning. We do not have a van driver as of this Sunday. Uh, the van will, will not be running until we can find another van driver. So please be praying for someone to uh, uh, begin driving the church van. Please get in touch with Tanya or myself uh, anytime if you're interested in that ministry. Uh, very difficult ministry. It just seems like over the years that we've had a church van that uh, the, the, the life of the drivers is uh, short. But I'd like to thank uh, our, our driver, uh, Pete Stefan. He lasted a long time, and he needs a break now. But we're thankful that uh, Brother Pete uh, maintained the van, uh, changed the oil, changed the tires, and uh, literally uh, went throughout this town. Uh, and it's very difficult because uh, uh, people want to be, be picked up at a certain time. And if you're uh, way up in North Anchorage and someone way down in South Anchorage needs to be picked up, sometimes it's very difficult to get to church on time. So uh, certain people uh, are upset, but that's understandable. What we're going to need, though, in the meantime, is uh, 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 carpooling. If you'd like to bring uh, family members to church, uh, be challenged to do that. We do have uh, a young lady down uh, downtown that would like to come to church tonight. Her name is Sophia George. She's uh, in, uh, in a hotel, it sounds like, for now. Uh, but her number is 717-6176. We also received a, uh, in the office a call from Henry George. And uh, he's, he's down in the Mountain View area. And he, would all, he wanted to be here this morning. But for sure wants to be here tonight. And his number is 538-2906, Henry George. So uh, if you'd like to get the uh, address, the phone number again, uh, Please contact me immediately after our uh, worship service this morning. As far as any other announcements, uh, trustees, we do have a meeting at 3 p.m. today, single issue, ongoing uh, budget discussion creation for 2015. Uh, certainly uh, would like to thank those, uh, especially the Romer family, uh, uh, Nicholson family, uh, Olson uh, family, and, and others that, that helped uh, with the bagging, uh, Christmas treat bagging get-together last Thursday. It worked out very, very well. I believe there's still a little bit of work that needs to be done. Uh, please get in touch with uh, Faye if, if you'd like to help on that before uh, Christmas Eve. On behalf of the Anchorage Moravian Church leadership, uh, we would like to invite you all of you to our high point of the year of, uh, outside of Easter, and that is our Christmas candle light service, which will begin at 5 p.m. instead of 4 p.m. And there's a reason for that. We uh, found out just recently that we do have people that work and would like to worship with us. So uh, a compromise uh, between 4 and 6 o'clock is 5 o'clock. So we'll be uh, conducting our Christmas candle light service at uh, 5 p.m. on December the 24th here in this place. I see the uh, uh, Cayenas just arrived in here. So good to see uh, the family all the way from uh, uh, Sitka. I think you've come the farthest today, Paul and Nelly. Just great to see, see all of you here. And all those of you from the French Church, too. We're, we're glad that you're here today. Any other announcements? Have I missed any? Potluck the last Sunday, yes. So all server groups, please provide food. And certainly uh, it's going to be a, a wonderful end of the year as we not only potluck next Sunday, uh, the joint board will meet next Sunday at 3, but we will also have the uh, watch night service the 31st of December at 11 o'clock here in this place. I'd like to uh, uplift uh, 
Pastor Russell Lamont for holding the first historic Moravian Candle service, well attended, it sounds like, down at uh, the Kenai area, the, the Kenai Peninsula of Moravian Church. Uh, worked out really good. I saw Manny Koenig stand up in the video and, and give a, a wonderful uh, uh, prayer uh, during the celebration down there. I think folks from Anchor Point arrived for that service in South Soldatna from the Kenai area and Nilchik and so forth. I'm praying personally, and please agree with me, that a full-time minister will begin to serve down there. Soon, we do have someone in mind that we uh, may be recognizing soon, so please uh, be uplifting that need down there. Okay, I believe that's... Um, well, certainly, uh, I should remember, uh, mention the Strunks are right here. The pastor from... You're still down in Quinnahawk, aren't you? Brother, Brother Strunk, your family, so good to see you. And, and uh, visitors from the uh, Skyline Church, so good to have you here. And folks from Big Lake, praise God. At this time, why don't we present unto the Lord our tithes and our offerings. May God richly bless you as you do that. It looks like for today, my, my wife will have uh, our uh, children's church program. So children, you may leave now. Children ages four through seven. Go out the door to my left, your right. Enjoy my wife, Barbara. Sing the doxology, please. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, so many gifts, but the greatest of all is your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank you that you sent your Son and that Jesus became like us. Thus you know and understand us. As we have entered this Christmas season, help us to recognize your presence, to experience your presence more than ever before. And as we worship you in giving, accept our gifts with the purpose we give them, which is to use them to bring other people to a personal and saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. That's why we give, Lord. For your glory, bless each giver. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Before the message, we'll sing together 265, the first Noel. 265. sent his son because he loved us so much. Can we do justice to God today by coming and thanking him? 